Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video. And today we're going to talk about editing samples on the Commodore Amiga. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Um, you know, again, as I get to 50 likes, um, I will upload another video. So please, please do that, you know. Um, yeah, so, so cracking on without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So basically, we're going to show you how to kind of cut a snare and add it to uh, the drum pattern. So previously we had this. Now, if we want to just um, edit and cut a snare up now, cut the snare or cut the drums up, you're just literally going to go to edit sample like that. And then you're going to highlight the place that you want it. Um, and you're going to, you can play range. So that's, you can see that's the, the snare part there, yeah? And the nice part of it is it plays slow. So you can kind of, you know, dial in and, and concentrate on what you're doing. So then you go copy. Right, then you can press the shift and right key and that'll take you to the next sample. Shift and right key, right? And then you want to go uh, buffer to sample. Bosh. There you go. So that chops it, yeah? You may have a little bit of, um, you know, r surplus um, sample at the start, but it's, but because remember, on an, on the old Amiga back in the day, we never had any undo. You wasn't, you can't undo. There's no such thing as undo. So Renoise crew, you know, we've got this sport. You got unlimited undos. No such thing as undo in the back in the day. You go to edit up here. Look, there is no undo. Yeah. So you'd literally go to here now and then. You've got the snare, so you then you've got to just put it in and make sure it's tight. There you go. And there's also no quantize, yeah. Right, we got lucky that time. We cut that quite well. Okay, so now you can see there now that stuff is uh, not quite tight um, and stuff. So in the next video, I'm going to go into a little, little detailed process on how you actually um, move your, you know, notes up and down because there's a technique you've got to use to do that. So basically, in you know, that's basically how you go about cutting samples up. Uh, you can then, you know, if obviously if you wanted to cut another part of the sample up, you could do that. Uh, you could do the same process again, uh, play the range, you know, you could cut a little hi-hat part of it. Obviously, it's 8-bit, you know, so it's, it's not as clean as a 16-bit sample, but, you know, that's what gives the Amiga its, its edge. Um, excuse the background noise, guys. I've got a fan on at the moment um, because it's quite hot in the studio. We're having a hot kind of September day. So here we go. Samples, buffer to sample. There you go. And you've got your little... And again, that's on a separate. There wasn't key groups. Okay, so let me... Um, you know what? Use a delete key, right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you in this video because it's going to be easier. All right, so we're going to hold down shift key and then we're going to press the backspace button. That pushes it down. Then we're going to press the backspace button that pulls it back up. So you can see there I've moved it along. See that one's out of time. Same again. Hold down shift key. Press backspace. Oh, that's a tricky one. What did I just do there? Let me have a look at that. Okay, so that came in a bit late, so I'm going to have to go back there, and I'm going to go like that. There you go, right. Now, why does that, why does that look so weird? Oh, yeah, of course, because, right, all that's moved down. Right, let's try that again. There you go, so there's another one, and you've got to go through do this. Back, um, backspace. And then every time you press backspace, you've got to hold shift and backspace. So this is how we used to have to do it. You'll get used to it after a while. There you go. Now you could just put down another channel over here.
There you go. So there you go. That's pretty much it on that one. Okay, so um, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If I get to 50 likes, I'm going to show you how to create more blocks and how to, you know, progress in the track and, uh, you know, get a little arrangement going. So on the next video, we're going to show you how to copy and paste blocks. That's the next option uh, available. Or if you want to see something in particular, you can also comment down below and make a suggestion. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.